Wake up. This is not the Matrix. The world is real. If you watch nothing else you need to watch this. Humanity in all its thousands of years of history has never been in more peril or more danger than it is right now. A danger that has brought us to the very brink of worldwide catastrophe, threatening our future and our children's future. Indeed threatening our very survival and all by our own making. As you watch this, there are uncountable conflicts raging around the globe, countries being destroyed or threatening each other, world leaders following their own agendas, and radical groups planning to strike at the heart of civilised society. And some of these are nuclear powers. However you choose to look at it, the world is at a crisis point with the very real possibility of a descent into World War III. Why is the media not filled with this important news? Why are the front pages of national newspapers not screaming these headlines? Why are our televisions not broadcasting what is really going on around our fragile world? Here are just a few examples of news you have probably not been made aware of. Did you know that North Korea has developed and tested nuclear missiles? Of course you did. But did you also know that far more worryingly, North Korea has a massive stock of chemical weapons of varying types, capable of being spread covertly across borders via the 1,000 plus drones it possesses? Did you know that despite the call for sanctions, Russia and North Korea have opened a trade route, ostensibly for a ferry route from North Korea to a Russian harbour? Obviously what is transported on this ferry is anybody's guess. Did you know that China has built seven man-made islands in the South China Sea and claimed it as their sovereign territory, despite it actually being international waters? Three of these have got working runways, missile defences and high-tech radar, giving China the ability to send military aircraft across the whole region. Did you know India and Pakistan are deadly enemies and are always on the verge of armed conflict? Both sides maintain a high operational military readiness along the LOC or line of control. There are almost daily cross-border exchanges of fire. Tensions are always high. The big difference now in comparison to their numerous previous conflicts is that both sides have a working nuclear arsenal. Did you know that Saudi Arabia is one of the world's top countries responsible for the spread of worldwide terrorism? Osama bin Laden was from Saudi Arabia. Fifteen of the 19 terrorists involved in the 9-11 attack were from Saudi Arabia. A linked email from Hillary Clinton revealed that it is well known that Saudi Arabia has been providing both logistical and financial support to Islamic State. Saudi Arabian nationals are the second largest group in IS. And yet Western governments deal openly with the Saudi regime. Did you know that Russia and NATO relations are at their lowest point since the Cold War? In Eastern Europe both sides have been building up forces close to each other and initiating a dangerous arms race. Did you know that China is pursuing the biggest policy of military modernization since the 1950s? The Chinese president is overseeing a massive overhaul of the People's Liberation Army, military production and new technology with the intention of being able to win a large-scale conflict. And they are closing the gap with other superpowers at a frightening pace. Did you know there is actually no solid defence against an ICBM or intercontinental ballistic missile? The US will attempt to intercept an ICBM for the first time in a test next week. The interceptor program has only been tried against lower range missiles and then only succeeding in 9 out of 17 tests. Despite this, the public has a false belief that ICBMs could not possibly penetrate their country's defences. This is of course true across every country in the world. Did you know that between 2010 and 2015 
there have been 58 serious incidents involving nuclear material. Unbelievably, 14 of these cases involve nuclear material being lost, 27 involve it being stolen, and 7 are listed as unknown. That doesn't include classified incidents that have happened during military exercises across the globe. Up to 11 nuclear bombs have been lost and never recovered in mainland America. Really? I mean really? How do we not know this? These are just the tip of the iceberg. War is a big money game and always has been. When the Vietnam War was extended by Lyndon Johnson after the assassination of JFK then a number of companies in the industrial military complex were made very rich. Bell helicopters were nearly bankrupt before the Vietnam War turned around their fortunes. So why do we not hear about all these potentially world changing events? Simple. They don't want us to know. Knowledge is power and we are kept distracted by mind numbing rubbish to stop us asking awkward questions. Our minds are filled with nonsense as we are surrounded by social media at every turn and fame and celebrity fill our newspapers and TV screens. Our consciousness is overwhelmed and bombarded with trivia like never before so that we don't have time to really think about the world around us. Don't have time to question our leaders. Everything we see and do, everything we buy and sell, every phone call we make and every text we send is all capable of being monitored. Private companies, businesses, banks and governments are continuously tailoring what surrounds us in our daily lives. A lot of this is aimed at consumer markets but it is also designed to keep us distracted from the bigger picture. Fear is not a good condition for any country's people but we also need to be aware of what is truly happening. Unless we open our eyes and begin to question our leaders and our governments, the things going on around the world will continue to escalate until we wake up one morning and it is just too late. Thomas Jefferson was quoted as saying, The care of human life and happiness, and not their destruction, is the first and only legitimate object of good government. We have never been closer to the brink than we are today. And I would urge each and every one of you to stop and look at what is really happening in the world right now. If your newspapers and television don't tell you, then search the internet. The information is there for those willing to look. We, the public, now have the tools to find the truth for ourselves. The world is watching, so be kind to each other. Have you noticed if you ever log into uh, Twitter as an example? So there's an extra delay that you don't know how long it's going to take. It's between two and three seconds, um, where that the number of new notifications on Twitter you have. So why is that there? Well, it makes that into a, what's called a variable schedule reward. It's like a slot machine. So you're playing the slot machine, and there's a time delay, and you're in that time delay, your anticipation's building, and then you get to see how many notifications I get. And so you become more addicted to checking it again the next time. It sounds like there's just a lot of sort of trickery going on here. I, I call it the race to the bottom of the brainstem. Digital is reshaping the world and this is going very, very fast. Today, wherever we go, we're inevitably surrounded by fellow citizens staring into their phones, as we usually are too. In the first 10 years of the 21st century, uh, the world was exploding is experiencing an explosive growth of the internet age. Some brand new privacy problems thanks to technology, go figure, uh, mm -hmm. something that you actually use every day could again be spying on your every move. Yeah. I have to say, Bose has not responded to this lawsuit yet, but the Connect app licensing agreement does say that it may collect your data. So that information is in there, but it does not specifically mention the collection of the audio files. So the devil really is in the detail. The apps on your phone may be eavesdropping on you. A new article in Wired magazine claims that apps have increasingly incorporated ultrasonic tones to track consumers. 
In fact, this is already here. This is already happening. Internet giants are all infusing artificial intelligence in all their products and services. Snapchat uses this to improve advertisement targeting. Apple and its GPS functions, all their products and services are now being enhanced by AI and it already seems normal to us.